Welcome back. In last session, what we learned was about how to solve the nonlinear equations using F0. However, the limitation of this command is that it cannot be used to solve system of nonlinear equations. To put it more simply, we must have only one equation and one unknown parameter. And if we would like to solve a system of nonlinear equations, we must use another function which is called f solve and it is capable of solving equations in the form of fx equals to zero given that x and f are vectors so now we have a system of equations for example if we have a system of equations of two unknown values in the form of x times y minus 5 times y plus 10 equal to zero and x cubed minus y squared equal to 2. First of all, we need to rename these variables. So we rename x to x1 and y to x2 and rewrite these equations, okay? So we will have x1 times x2 minus 5 times x2 plus 10 equal to 0 and x1 cubed minus x2 squared and we can move 2 to the left hand side and also change its sign and make both of right hand side expressions equal to 0 okay so now this is fx even that x is a vector with components x1 and x2 and if we define this function and give it to f solve we can get the system of nonlinear equations okay so let's solve the equation and find the solutions so let's define f as a function of x okay assuming that x has two components or two elements and the return value is a vector itself and its first element was x1 times x2 minus 5 times x2 plus 10 so x1 times x2 minus 5 times x2 plus 10 and in the next row we have x1 cubed minus x2 squared minus 2 and that's it we define the function and if we provide some values for example 1 and 3 actually 1 for x1 and 3 for x3 we get these results okay so let's solve the equation by passing it to function f solve f and we need a starting point for example one and one okay and the results say that the equation solve and as you can see here there are some information about the algorithm and solution and now we have the solution three and five however what is the value of f? We can get it by getting the second output of this function. And x shows us the solutions. And f val is the function value. And you see that it's almost zero. So you can check it with 3 and 5. Okay. We solve this system of nonlinear equations. And now the solution is x1 equals to 3 and x2 equals to 5. Or in original equation, x equals to 3 and y equals to 5. If you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell icon to receive more videos every week. Many thanks for watching.